Nation, welcome back to another video from This Is ZZ TV. I am out running errands and stuff, but I am having a great day. And I hope you guys are having a great day as well. Look, in my last video, I told you all that I was going to be getting back to that ambitious Z, which I am getting back to going after my dreams and goals and aspirations and all that good stuff so what I decided to do is I'm going to take you all down memory lane and share with you something I created at a young age which was my very first clothing line so when I get back to the house I'm going to share that with you all and give you know like a backstory a little bit kind of tell you where my mindset was as a child and just go from there so make sure you watch this video all the way through you never know you might get inspired or motivated all right so we're about to have a little story time so go ahead and get your popcorn and your snacks and drinks and all that good stuff because I'm about to do some talking but I promise I'm going to do my best to not bore you all okay all right so y'all remember when we was little how your parents and your grandparents and your teachers or just adults in general would ask you what you want to be when you grow up y'all remember that i remember that because my mama started having those conversations with me around the ages of eight and nine and I used to tell my mama I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And my mama was like, for real? I was like, yep. I guess she was just blown away that this eight-year-old talking about she wanted to be an entrepreneur. Now, mind you, I didn't know, you know, exactly what an entrepreneur do is like far as the back end i just knew that entrepreneurs were people that owned businesses and had a lot of money that's how i was thinking at eight and nine so i was like yeah i want to be one of those <laughs> <laughs> but my mama used to always see me drawing clothes and like i would draw little pants and shirts and shoes and I would put either my name on them or different names I would come up with. I wish I still had those drawings, but those drawings are probably in my grandmother's old house. But, um, yeah, my mom used to always see me drawing, and my mom believed that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. She believed in me. She never told me, well, if that doesn't work, you need to come up with a plan B or you need to go to school and do this. Or I think it would be a good idea if you did that. My mom never told me any of that. She just was always like, go for it. Do whatever it is you want to do. You know, as long as it was positive, my mom supported me. And I'm very grateful for that. But um, back to the entrepreneur thing. So I got into clothes because of the music videos I used to watch at that age. I used to watch music videos all the time. And you know, back in the early 2000s, people like Cash Money and um, Bow Wow, Lil Romeo, they were real popular and hot. And I would see them on TV all the time and I always liked their clothes that they was wearing. You know, just different artists. I, didn't, I wasn't always into just the music, but I like what they was wearing. And so I would look at the TV and just get ideas and like, dang, I like that jacket or try to draw it and put my own little twist on it with the designs and stuff. Now, I was not a great drawer, but if I drew a shirt, you could tell it was a shirt. <laughs> I'm going to just say that. I was not the best at drawing, which I wish I was. I wish I could draw. I really wish I could. I mean, I can. I do pretty decent. But back then, I felt like I was drawing good enough to try to, like, the ideas I had in my mind, I could put them on paper. I say that. So, um, yeah, I used to always watch the music videos. That's where I would get my ideas from. And I will never forget, there was this one brand 
that was very popular back then, and I think that brand was called Lee Dungarees, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Anyways, I think that brand was called Lee Dungarees, but I used to draw some pens, and I used to put on my pens, Z Dungarees. <laughs> But this is, that's what my mindset was. I was always just thinking of how I could create my own, you know? And that's what I wanted. I wanted to have a clothing line. Now, back then, I didn't know that I could be eight years old and have a clothing line because I would have probably told my mama to help me get started or reached out to somebody, but it didn't happen. And I wasn't thinking that deep into it to, like, go try to find help and my mama wasn't thinking about it either because she probably would have helped me but she didn't know nothing about starting no clothing line that was just one of those questions like what you want to do when you get grown but you know if I knew being what I knew now yeah I would have started a clothing line at 8 instead of waiting to you know after I graduated which I'm about to fast forward to that so I graduated in 2011 so in 2012, I started my first clothing line, which was called Aspirations and Goals Clothing. So I'm on the website right now, and I'm about to share that with you all. Now, when I was little, as far as clothing, you know, back then, I wanted to do it because of, you know, the fashion, the way the clothes look, and it was just cool to me, right? But as I got older, I started realizing that I wanted to create a clothing line with a purpose that had meaning behind it. So when I created Aspirations and Goals Clothing, I made sure that it had a message. And as you can see right here on the website, it says bringing motivation and inspiration to everyone through fashion. So here we go. This was now this website is not published anymore. But I was able to log into my account that I created the website on. And right here, you see it says the company is the name Aspirations and Goals. Created, founded in 2012 by me, ZZ. So, and here's the about section. It says, a brand to inspire one's ambitions towards one's goals. I was always about motivating and inspiring the next person you know so the mission was the purpose for this clothing line is to allow god to use me to motivate and inspire people worldwide let me move myself over a little bit i strive to succeed towards the excellence of establishing reaching one's individual goals or dreams that they have set for themselves i chose to use clothing as a way to get my messages and art out to the world the same way a singer or rapper would use music to tell a story I said every item I release will have a positive meaning behind it they say you are what you wear so why not represent who you are man Whew, I was on fire I was what 18 or 19 when I officially started this I even had a little prayer on here and everything. And look at me. I think on this picture, I was at my second, my second job that I had ever worked in my life. Because my first job was at an airport. I think this one was at, it was an AT&T building. But I worked for Johnson Control. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was my second job. But see right there? That's me. Young Z. <laughs> but yeah, I was 18 or 19 when I created my first um, clothing line. So that's the about section. Let me go to the Who Rocking A and G. See, I created this website myself. That's me. I know him, I know these people. A few of them I met on the internet and a few I know in real life. But these were the shirts that I designed. Now I didn't create them, like physically create them, but I created the designs for them and got um, companies to print them on t-shirts for me. 
But yeah, I used to reach out to artists and have them rocking my clothes and everything. Look at that. That's the Don't Sleep On Your Dreams. Oh, I'm going to show you guys. Oh, this is my guy right here. This Quentin. He actually started helping me create my clothes because he made, he made his own clothes and stuff. So he got a clothing brand and make clothes. So he helped me out like later on throughout my journey. It say rapper Aiden rocking the AMG clothing t-shirt. Yeah, I used to reach out to different people. Then yeah, this is taking me back down memory lane. This shirt right here. Oh my goodness, that shirt sold out so fast. And that's little Ruddy Mother Elf from Dallas. Y'all probably know him from singing Throw That A in a Circle. Yeah, that was like one of the first uh, rap artists to rock my clothes. I did a giveaway and she won. He was an upcoming artist. Man, this is really bringing back memories. But I just want you guys, uh, you guys to see this. Look at that. Don't sleep on your dreams. Okay, so that's enough for that. Let's get back to the website. Let me go to the home page. See, as you can see, the logos, well, I ain't gonna say the logos, the designs kind of changed a little bit on certain t-shirts because this that God of all things, I actually have turned that into a brand. But we'll talk about that later on. Don't sleep on your dreams. That's hubby. He wasn't hubby back then. But he's hubby now. Alright. Yep, I created this site. Had all, everybody that supported me on it. Okay, I gotta stop this music. This is about to play a song. Oh, it didn't play it. Alright. So, that's my first clothing line. Aspirations and Goals Clothing. I'm going to show you all some of the t-shirts. I don't know if y'all can see it good on here. Yeah, so I'm going to just go to the camera on my phone instead of trying to do it on the computer. But this was the logo tee. So I'm going to get off the computer and go to the phone so you all can see the shirts, all right? Okay, so, so here's the official Aspirations and Goals Clothing A&G logo tee. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I designed this logo, and I used to just reach out to different print companies to get them to make me some T-shirts. So you see that A&G clothing, media. I was ready. That was the first shirt. Then I created this one. Don't sleep on your dreams. Let me see. Yeah, see this one says aspirations and goals clothing. And this one says A and G clothing. The inside tags. I used to try to do a little different stuff. But it turned out good. This one said, dream, believe, work hard, and achieve. And this was the third shirt from Aspirations and Goals Clothing. This one said, dreams do come true. I designed this as well. I used to want to be a graphic designer and um, photographer and all that stuff. And I even got them to put when I thought of the idea, which was March 5th, 2012. Let me see what I got on the inside of this for the tag. Okay, it says aspirations and goals clothing established March 5th, 
2012. Dreams do come true. Made in USA and all that good stuff. And I created this one, God of All Things, Goat. This one right here was a this was a top requester, seller, all of that. Okay, the inside tag, aspirations and goals clothing, A and G inspiration, put God first. Yep, so this was the first inspiration T. That's what I used to call it. But this logo now looks so much better. Or design looks much better now. But we'll talk about this in another video. Um, let me see. I forgot to show you all while I was on the computer. The Twitter page that I used to be on for Aspirations and Goals Clothing. Yeah, this was the A&G Twitter account and Facebook. I still have all of this stuff. This is part of my story, you know? <laughs> I kept all of this. I sure did. All the pictures. See, this was the very first Aspirations and Goals clothing logo. I got somebody to do that for me. And after that person designed it for me because I told him how I wanted to do it. And then I was like, oh, that's cool. But I want the wings a little different. So I did it myself. And that's how I came up with the white tee for Aspirations and Goals clothing. Looking back on it, I could have did it a little better. Because this part kind of looked weird. But back then, I thought it was fire. So, yo, that's about it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And be on the lookout for more content like this. And remember, don't sleep on your dreams because dreams do come true. I will catch you all in the next video.